So look, guys, we're going to talk about new additions. Oh yeah, right? there's a lot to talk about there. It you know it, it starts with Cordy Glenn, who is the biggest new addition, both in uh, you know literally, and uh, and and literally really. Yeah. He's going to add a lot on the left side of the offensive line. It's one less thing we have to be concerned with. And so that's great. There's some guys in the draft that we got that uh, are going to be big time contributors as well. We got Billy Price. You know, he helps, obviously. And pass protection, he's been very solid. And Jesse Bates is becoming an immediate starter. That's nice. And let us not forget about some of the other uh, people we picked up, like Preston Brown, who. He's looked good. You know, he's made some really nice tackles. He, he has a, a kind of, he can sniff out the uh, plays. I like that. And uh, Bobby Hart, who for a while was a right tackle, we don't know. But uh, if he's in a starter, that's pretty significant too. So, John, who is your most exciting new ed- addition? I think it has to be Cordy Glenn, just because of the difference between what was there last year with Cedric Aboye and what's there now of Cordy Glenn. And I think we talked about that Glenn, before he came here, was an above average left tackle. He wasn't like a top five guy at the position and he had injury problems, but those injury problems seem to have subsided. He's completely healthy now. And um, just the stark, just difference between the talent that Glenn has and the boy he has is incredible. And the fact that they were able to upgrade that position does bring solidarity to that one position. It's one less thing to worry about. And I think we have seen in the preseason pass protection be a lot better just in general with the first team offense and Glenn has been a tremendous part of that. Yeah, Hoji, how about you? Well, you know, I mean, here's the thing. I, I was going to say Glenn as well. I'm a little bit concerned about the uh, injury pronality of Glenn. Right. Uh, you know, he's. it wasn't just that he was hurt. The man has had some ankle problems and I know that, that at his position the feet are not really a necessity but that being said, uh, the ankles are, and he's got the ankle problems, and he's um, he's been hurt. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a twist of rule on, oh. on on your question, right. and say that my most exciting addition is Carlos Dunlap. Because yeah, okay. he's not okay. he's not really a new addition, but yeah. he's a new re-addition. The 45 million dollar contract extension shows the Bengals are committed to him. I think this guy one of the greatest defensive players in the league. I'm so yeah. excited at we were at the at the signing of the of the, of the Dunlap. I think we all are. Like his money has been added. They added the to money to his contract. Yeah, that, that makes complete sense. They wired it. Yeah. I love Jesse Bates uh, as well. As I said, you know, I think that he's kind of more exciting for me because he could make some bigger plays. He could change the kind of dynamic of the defensive backfield. You know, the fact that they're willing to go with the young guy that early tells me they think he's going to be, you know, something special. So that is very exciting. There's also, of course, Auden Tate, who is supposed to be on our show. But we it's not go. just Auden Tate at receiver. It's John Ross as well, because he was here last year, but obviously wasn't here. And we saw that impact that he had in the offense against the Bills, just the first play, just running down the sideline on a double move. That's going to open up a lot of things. And more importantly, it's going to add that explosive play aspect to the Bengals' offense. And offenses who generate a lot of explosive plays typically end up doing very well overall. It's like one of the more telling attributes of a team that leads to team success. And that's something that they didn't have last year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I got I got two questions for John uh, about, about, about new addition. Who's the little guy that they called on the phone and he's really small and he's the wide receiver guy and they were like, "Oh, you want to play football?" And he was like, "All right." And he and he and he's really small and and, and peppy. He's like he's like five foot ten, 180 pounds. They just brought him in as like a, a stopgap measure this this last week. Do you remember his name? This week, a receiver. Am I wrong? It, it it might be a cornerback in Darius Hillary, who they just literally cut like a day after they brought him. Brought this him guy in. was like he was like training to be like a uh, sports uh, nutritionist. Did I dream this? Yeah. You oh. might have, yeah. Second, yeah. The sports nutritionist second. might might be out of the Bengals' budget. No, no, he's a wide receiver, and he they, and he. What well, he doubles as a sports, uh, that's why they want him. Ah, uh, he provides extra it's value. Yeah, I'm gonna you. go. I'm gonna find his name. Second question: What do you think of Josh Malone? Josh Malone's all right. He had a touchdown. Wait, guys, guys, hold on. These guys are from last year. Yeah, but Malone barely played last year. Yeah, they were saying new edition. <laughs> that okay. new? Let me explain the, both the words "new" and "edition." Such a literalist, man. Anyways, look, I'm excited about John Ross too, and I think John uh, Ross is a new addition. 
I think with the hand issue that he has, with the dropping the passes, I think Driscoll is a new addition, and I'm really excited about Driscoll as a backup. I actually think that he's got a lot of energy, and he can do the job. I mean, the thing people don't realize about Andy Dalton is actually the man's very durable. I mean, yeah. chances of him going down, it doesn't happen <clears throat> that often. But if, he do, if, if, if he's out for a week or two or whatever, I think Driscoll's perfectly competent as, as the backup. He's proven himself. He looks so good. Yeah. Grace yeah. under pressure. Yeah, again, he was on the team last year. But yeah, I mean, but, yeah, no, I understand. Was John Ross. Yeah, yeah. We can just talk about all the Bengals players in this section. AJ Green, I love that guy. He's really good. He, there is a new article on AJ Green not too long ago. So we could. I mean, AJ Green is probably my pick for my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. All right, okay. So did, was this guy not this year? His name is Jared Murphy. Oh, yeah, he was. I didn't even know he knew his name or knew anything about there him. There you go. Jared Murphy. He's, he's like five foot nothing. He's like five foot ten, 170 pounds. Yeah, just yeah. guy. Went to Miami. Let me, let me give you some background info, John. Uh, Hoji gets about 90% of his football info from the movie Rudy. So, I, yeah, so like, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that feel sounded like that 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 speech that his, the janitor gave you every year. You're five foot nothing. You're a hundred nothing. Yeah. You don't have a speck in of fact, athletic ability. In fact, yeah. it was that speech. Look, here's the thing about Jared Murphy. I don't know anything about him. But the other thing about Jared Murphy is that when I read about him, I'm like, why did they call this guy? That's kind of cool. And he's just this little guy. He's little. He's running around. And I and I'm wondering if he's going to make the team. And I was wondering what you guys thought of. I, he, uh, he's got I'm, as good of a chance as me to make the team, to be honest, because he's exactly my size. He's like yeah, 5, he 10, 170. So and like maybe, if maybe could, I should try out. If you got a perm, you'd look a lot like Jared Murphy, actually. Well, well let's put that on the back burner. Ready to end this one or anything else? Uh, just say? one last shout out to, to the fans who supported us and to, of course, Carlos. Oh, Dutton. yes. Carlos, yes. we're waiting for you. I w I'm waiting by the phone night and day. When you come on the show, it's going to be the greatest. We'd love to have you be our first guest when the puppets arrive. I want to give a shout out to really our fans were incredible with the GoFundMe. And Sam Glockner was on. He's such a nice guy. It really, it it's, uh, touches me at my heart to think about these guys. So, yeah, thank you for, for all of your support and helping us get the puppets. Uh, that is all we have for this portion of the season preview. We will catch you in a little bit. So long, sweetie pies.